How did you get the name Nub? Oh. It was an old uh, SNL skit with Eddie Murphy. It was Buckwheat. Yeah. And he was singing all the songs, you know, so the Buckwheat sings album. And one of the songs was Looking, looking for Love, No Wrong Place, but I said Looking for Nub. <laughs> so I made a big sticker on my car and said Looking for Nub, and it just kind of like stuck. I mean, there was always the, the influence of art, you know, in our house when we grew up. Everybody in the family was you know, somewhat of an artist. But when I got older, I mean, goofing off, you know, in the art class in high school, I always knew that I wanted to do something like that, but it wasn't until, um, you know, after I graduated and started working at a sign shop and learning. You know, and actually being, doing it for a living, that's when I realized that that's what I wanted to actually do. And then when the when the bike thing happened, that's when I called it quits on the signs, and we just dove right into the bikes. It, it got so busy so fast that it was very easy to say, I don't want to do signs anymore. The way I always looked at it throughout the whole process was we never we never looked at it from the outside. Mm -hmm. um, it was always funny. We would go to bike shows and like everybody would you know they would know Nub Graphics, they would know the name. But every day we were just going into our shop and doing what we did. We never looked at it like, you know, some guy in Japan is watching this show and knows who we are, but we don't, you know what I mean? Right. Where do you see yourself going? I mean, in the next year, the next two years, the next six years down the road, what is your dream of where you would like to go? I don't see myself painting bikes for the rest of my life. Right. When I started that whole sign thing, the other thing I wanted to be was a cartoonist. So that's what I've always, you know, Mad Magazine was a huge, um, it was a huge influence on me. So I don't want to put too much emphasis on where I want to go because I've never thought that, like, like everything that I do now, I never put emphasis on this is what I want to do. It just, I kind of, I go with the flow kind of, like, like I'm cool with just about, as long as I'm creating stuff, I'm good. I, I feel like I don't have a job. Like I feel like I just walk out here every day, and and uh, I'm fortunate enough that I can pay my bills doing what I actually love to do. So I know for a fact that if there was no money involved, I would still do this.